What is up everybody? Uh, today we are going to be actually finally finishing up this dungeon. I am all set as you can see here. I have a crap ton of potions. I have the healing spell. I have this good old potion here to give us a lot of haste. I have more healing potions. I have level 2 polymorphs. And even on top of that I have enchanted gear and weapon. So we should be able to down this today. And from there on, try to get up to level 40 and do some more fun things after that. So, I've got ourselves up to the first level and now we are going up to the second level here. I have uh, been exploring the dungeon a little bit more, so I kind of know exactly where I need to go. Now, the issue is the second floor is definitely full of a lot of creatures that want to kill me right at the spot. So, what we're going to do real quick is we're going to activate our nice little polymorph here, which is right here level two polymorph and we're gonna go with a hmm I guess it'd be a spearman there we go nice and looking good and let's go out there and actually kick some butt now so first things first we've got a lot of skeletons that we have to kill a lot of skeletons but if we can kill these guys we will be money all right, so we're taking some minor amount of damage here so we're just going to kill that guy right there and we're going to move a little bit over so that way we can get a nice clear view of stuff uh, we're going to heal ourselves up a good amount kill that next guy so as you can see here there's just a lot of them they're everywhere so heal ourselves up again heal that do that perfect very anticlimactic because i forgot to turn on the sound but hey there we go Bam! We just annihilated the crap out of those guys. Now let me turn on the sound because, you know, obviously it gets us pumped. It gets us a little something else to look forward to. Alright, so we're going to go left and then we're going to go down. But let's go do a quick heal here. And uh, also, let's use our healing spell. I, it doesn't heal that much, but hey, it's a nice little free way of getting a potion without having to do anything else. There we go. Oh, we got this guy. I think he needs all cool that he can get, come and attack us. So far though, I definitely gotta say, once you get your first enchant on stuff, everything kind of just works out really well. So let's see, I go left and down, and I believe I go left and down again? If I remember right. I think it's, up. Oh, okay, we got some skeletons that we have to kill here. Boom, boom, boom. Ah! <laughs> I've just been sitting here. It can be a little difficult sometimes to target stuff, but I think we had it there. So let's go left and down again. And we'll just keep going and attacking this guy real quick. And we'll do that. Perfect. Look at that. Straight goodness. Oh, I think I actually went the wrong way. Oh, nope, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Left. And we'll keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I got scared. I, for a second there, I thought that spider was going to attack me. Got a lieutenant here. Alright, so we made it up to this part here. So we're going to go to the stairs. And we're just going to go straight forward. Straight ahead. Run, 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 run. And let's heal ourselves up a little bit. I don't want to die to anything stupid, like a big crowd of uh, zombies or something. There we go, perfect. We're just going to keep on kind of going forward. And just going to keep going forward pretty much. I believe this is what I, I... I wrote down some notes just trying to figure out a little bit of where I'm supposed to go. Oh, what is this? I actually have not seen this before. Uh, good. We keep it closed. Oh, so that's to get to the boss Muhammad that I always see. Yeah, we're not going to go there yet. <laughs> we're definitely not ready for that. Um, where do I actually... Oh! Yeah, there it is. There's the stairs I was looking for. Oh, is that the stairs I'm looking for? Ah, here's the stairs I was looking for. Alright. So, now we just go left past these stairs. 
and then we just go straight. So let's see if we got that. Bum 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 bum. All right, we've got some skeletal axemen that are kind of going coming through. I definitely got to say, once you get like a level two polymorph and you kind of get yourself a little bit more geared out, everything actually works out really well. And here we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No way. Oh, is that a skeleton mage? I actually need to kill one of them. Hmm. We might have to do some little exploring after this. Just gonna keep going forward though. Do, do, do. Bum, 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 bum. And turn here. I gotta say though, that I've definitely really uh, enjoyed the game. Once I like, you get to that leveling point, and then everything just works out. So it really shows that grind aesthetic very well. Also, uh, one of the things is, too, I have a lot of quests, like a lot of different quests I need to do. So, I'll probably be here for a little bit, because I think I'm already at the end of the uh, instance now. Go over here. Go past the spider. Oh, we got our skeleton archer here. Kill him real fast. And we'll run right across here. gonna keep running across here um, Ooh, maybe it wasn't here yeah, maybe I'm supposed to go over in that area hey and there we go and that's the exit to the tunnel ba -ba -ba. wait let's talk to him uh, adventurers be able to enter this land must take the oath. So this is basically the end of the dungeon. This is actually where you get to go to the old escape tunnel. So there we go. That's the end of the dungeon right there. So I hope you guys do enjoy that because that's a very easy way of showing you that. Now I'm going to continue on though with our let's play because I still have some quests I need to do and some things that I need to kill. So I need to find a skeleton mage. So we passed quite a few of them on the way here and I do need to find some nightshades. But that's basically where you're supposed to go. Um, you take the oath, and then that's kind of like the, like where you get to go to the different member areas and everything. All right. So let us see about killing a skeleton mage somewhere in here. Oh, we have a nightshade though. I need to kill one of those. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll heal ourselves up a little bit. All right, so we have now the quest miracle done. Sweet. Now we just gotta find a skeleton mage. Which there's one right there. Perfect. Down you go. Another one down. We got some a few more guys here. This will make it really easy for us to get up to level 40. It's just killing all these guys here, especially that lieutenant. Lieutenants and uh, special elite monsters definitely give us a little bit more XP in the long run. Boom. Perfect. Look at that. Alright, and we've got so many more quests done now. Now, I do believe I still have a few more quests I need to finish in here. Especially on this floor specifically. Um, let's see if I actually go back. So that's completed, that's completed. Um, that's for the member area I can't go to. Let's kill this mage real quick. Boom. The ghouls are so annoying. I really think, though, that once you have, like, a polymorph, it makes it so much more easier. So, we'll go over here real quick. Uh, we got some more. Oh, we got Nightshade Elite. He will get us a good amount of levels. Hell yeah. Let's keep healing up a little bit. Keep healing up. Yeah, look at all that XP. That was a good amount. That was almost a full bar. That's nice. I really like exploring the second floor because you just get so much more XP from just everything. Um, I do have the, this like one way of like sort of cheating and getting XP. Um, it, not really cheating, it's more of just like I kill a bunch of these eyeball creatures and they get me a lot of XP and I do that for like a couple hours or whatever. But um, one of the things I did notice is uh, 
if you just do that, it's very easy. You can, you're able to regain your life and everything. And then I come back to the dungeon and I get like a lot of that much faster. So, uh, if I actually show you on the map here, it's Promise Island. There's a way for me to. I don't think there's a way for me to zone in. Zone in but basically, there's like a nice little area right outside the dungeon where you can just kind of kill eyeball creatures with while regening your life, which is a super nice grind spot. I was actually thinking about doing a video to show some really good grind spots for people to do. So we're just going to keep killing these skeleton mages. Because uh, they drop a good amount of gold and stuff. Oh, here we go. Basically, just our goal is just to get a lot of uh, stuff, uh, a lot of XP while we're here, you know? Especially since I uh, got a lot of this armor and whatnot. And I'm using a lot of my more expensive stuff. So, if I'm using a giant haste potion in this, I might as well make sure I get the best out of it. And... Kill that guy real quick. I just want to double check, make sure that we're completing all of our uh, sort of missions and stuff here. Uh, let's see. So, oh, that one we can't complete. Uh, that one we can, that one's complete. And then, oh, we should, we got to do take back. So that'll be the quest that we'll pick up eventually later on. Probably more about after I hit like level 40. Because once I hit level 40, I'll be able to accept a bunch of quests and then I can do a bunch of things as well. Ooh, I don't think I'm ready to go downstairs just yet though. Here, let's go over here. And let's also heal up. I don't mind using the lesser heal healing potions. I'll keep the big ones for just in case in the future. So we'll just get a lot of big heals here. I'm excited though. I just looked up online and I'm uh, actually getting an anti-sound um, mouse. So that should be pretty exciting. It's probably not going to be here for a good while. But hey, it's going to be nice because you guys won't have to hear the clicking in the background anymore. Alright, let's kill this guy real quick. Uh, let's kill this guy. Get all that XP. All that nice XP. Basically, try to run down this timer and uh, get the maximum out of it. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Kill that guy, too. But as you can see here, I I'm just getting so much more levels when you do that. Also, there is an event going on um, right now for uh, people who have completed uh, some of the bosses and things, and uh, people who or as like a server taking down stuff and you guys can actually click up here and then click withdraw and actually get a few good items for it so this game has a lot of really cool events and they have like a discord which I might just put in the description below for you guys to join because uh, they have a really cool community and they have a lot of really cool events where it's just like hey kill this boss and uh, they'll re award you or award like the first like 20 people uh, a special item or something I think that's really cool, and it's a way to get the uh, community um, sort of involved, especially with small, smaller uh, MMO games like this. But I don't even know. I, I wouldn't even really consider this one really a smaller MMO. Um, compared to most phone MMOs, this one definitely has a bigger crowd of people backing it. Um, a lot of players I see running around, a lot of guilds running around too. So we'll kill this guy real quick, heal ourselves up. I did not even realize how low I was. <laughs> Alright, uh, get ourselves like almost a full heal here. And it looks like we're running out of our potions, which is fine. We'll just use some of this stuff here and heal ourselves up. Alright. And then after that, we can turn in all these wonderful quests, too. And uh, get a bunch of XP. Uh, I didn't mean to attack the ghoul, but hey, it is what it is. We'll attack this guy right here. And we'll also attack this skeleton that's back here that's being really pesky and annoying. I gotta say, though, I'm, di I'm digging this polymorph. It definitely does a good amount of damage, which is really nice. Um, you can also, one of the best ways to get these is also through the good old auction house that's in the game. Uh, they sell a lot of really good stuff, and some of the players have been selling them pretty ch cheap as of late. Oh my god, we have to kill this guy have to. I, I need it. I need all that XP. 
This guy's gonna give us so much. There we go. Perfect. We're just kicking their butts now. It was actually funny. Um, I did buy the same polymorph and everything um, before when I was running the dungeon, and I guess some guy was running around and he had like five guys like attacking him, and I was just trying to walk by, and the next thing you know, he died, and then they all went after me and killed me, and I was like, damn. <laughs> so, <laughs> gotta love that. All right, let's keep going. Let's attack this nightshade here. Basically, I'm just attacking things until I die, because at this point I can't heal myself anymore because I'm saving these potions for a more better occasion. Uh, let's see, let's kill this guy too. Let's get some more leveling out here. So we're basically doing a grind to level 40 right now. Kill the nightshade and then we'll kill that guy as well. Or we might die, I'm not sure. I think we might survive this. Ah, we did not. But all is good, my friends, because today we're going to finish up all these quests. So, we need to go to the Spellbook Girl, and we do need to go to... Let's see, Spellbook Girl needs it. Owen needs it. And then we got to pick up these quests along the way. So, let us go to first Owen, which, where is Owen? I believe he's over here. I believe this is Owen. No, it's Gordon. Hmm, which one was Owen? Ah, that one's Owen. I knew it was somebody in the forest. I just couldn't remember who. And we'll, we'll do a haste potion just so I can walk there faster, because I don't feel like taking forever to get there. <laughs> nice little casual stroll through there, but overall, uh, that was pretty good. Um, it, it really didn't take me that long. It's just kind of sometimes the RNG of uh, depending on how many uh, monsters pop up in certain areas. But once you uh, kind of grind up a little bit, everything's all nice and good. And look at that. We got a bunch of potions. We got a bunch of stuff there. Look at that. That was nice. Look at that. We got all a bunch of health potions back too. So we can use those for later. Now, we could walk all the way to the spellbook uh, girl, but I would prefer. I did not mean to click that. Uh, I would prefer us to use the good old teleporter. Do do. But yeah, um, one of the biggest concerns I had about the game when I was earlier playing it was uh, how much money you got and everything. But once you start doing a little bit of grinding and things, you get a bunch of these like coins and you get a bunch of gold, and then you can start selling some of your previous gears and everything. And honestly, it's not even that big of a deal at that point. All right, so let us go over and find the good old teleporter. There he is. And we'll do it, of course, to the Spellbook Shop. Go and turn in this quest here. And boom, we got a... Oh, a scroll to enchant armor. So, we got a scroll that can enchant our armor real quick. It is cursed, though. Mmm, how do we fix a curse? So, obviously, we're going to have to look at, look at this and figure out how do you, will you fix a curse. Curse equipment uh, cannot be unequipped once... Put on using a curse scroll of removal. Let's see. So, uh, a curse scroll decreases the enchantment level upon one. Uh, a cure potion reduces the healing effect. Um, so, basically, you can, as you can see here, this is what happens when you put a curse thing on there. So, we're definitely not going to do that because that would not be a good thing to do at all. Um, however, I believe there is ways to uh, get rid of that, so that will be probably something we dive into in the next episode. Um, also, we're going to be trying to get ourselves up to level 40, and so I can show you some of the really cool stuff in the game. I hope you guys do enjoy this dungeon run, though. I basically just wanted to show you guys how I got through it, how to get through that second floor, because the first floor is very simple. You guys can see constantly how far I got. I kept getting to that second floor and dying. But uh, once you get like a polymorph 2 scroll or any polymorph in general and level yourself up a good decent amount and spend about maybe 2,000 gold on a bunch of healing potions, you can push through there easy peasy, lemony squeezy, and then grind out some levels while you're up there. Of course, if you are sub to the game, you will be actually able to go to the old uh, service tunnel, but we will dive into that once I get myself membership. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.